Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, today is still Sunday, February 28th, and it's 428. How about that? This is another recall, but listen, there's four of them. There's four things that are now being recalled, and only one is food. All right, so let me get started. This first one is from Fox Business Online. So it's foxbusiness.com. Okay, from their lifestyle section. Product recalls. Popular hand soap facing recall over bacterial contamination concerns. Now, have you ever heard of such a thing? How can bacteria get into soap? It's clearly not an antibacterial. Or is it? The products may be contaminated with Burke Hold Dairy. I mean, I said it before. Burke Hold Dairya. Hold Dairya. I never heard of this. Burke Hold Dairya. Capacia. Never heard of it. All right. Hand soap sold at retailers like Walmart are facing a recall over concerns that they are contaminated with potentially serious bacteria. This is just crazy to me. On the U.S. Food and Drug Administration's Cosmetic Recalls and Alerts page, and that's underlined, and there was one in the other sentence I just read, the, the links you can click on. Okay, so on the cosmetics, recalls, and alerts page, the FDA lists various scents, S-C-E-N-T-S, -E of scent theories, foaming hand soaps, subject to the recall which were called back over concerns the products are contaminated with Burkholderia capacia. Or Burkholderia, could be. Anyway, the bacteria can be found in water and soil. <laughs> oh boy, what if it's coming out of people's faucets? Though in cases of human infection, contaminated medical products are often the cause, per the CDC. Now, that just doesn't make any sense to me. Burkholderia capacia is the name for a group or complex of bacteria that is often resistant to common antibiotics and can pose a risk for those with certain medical conditions or those who have a weakened immune system. Yeah, there's a lot of those people going around, especially now. Four cents of the scent theory Hand soap are subject to recall. Lemon citrus, vanilla coconut, fresh lavender, and eucalyptus mint, all of which were sold in 11 ounce bottles. Okay, now there's a link that says. Ford recalling over 150,000 vehicles for safety issues related to airbags. So you want to, if you don't do anything else, you might want to check that out. Scroll down till you get to the all caps underlined. That's a link. So do you want to go down here and check out these lot numbers on those four cents? All right, we're going to go to the next one. This is a recall. Jasper, what are you doing, baby? He's... Just a minute. Did you lose your ball? Get it. 
Okay, forget it then. He's scratching at my ottoman. There, now take your ball and go play. All right, we recovered the ball. He loves these little yellow fuzzy tennis balls a neighbor gave to him when I first got him. Okay, this is Roadshow. Well, wait a minute. CNET.com. Hmm. wonder why it says Roadshow. Anyway, the title. Tire Recall. Continental needs to check 94,000 tires for possible tread loss. At least 203 tires are defective, the company said. Okay, now how would you come up with that number? 203. Why not 205? Why not just say 200, at least 200? Why would you say at least 203? Tires are defective, the company said, but it needs to recall nearly, nearly 100,000 tires to be sure. Now, up here it says 94,000. Y'all need to get your numbers straightened out. Continental. I never even heard of that brand. All right. Check the rubber on your wheels because tire manufacturer Continental announced Thursday it's recalling 94,000 tires. These tires were either sold to auto manufacturers and equipped as standard equipment or... Consumers purchased them when fitting new tires to their vehicles. The issue at hand is the possibility for partial or total tread loss resulting from potential sudden air loss or belt edge separation. Note, the recall includes the General and Barum brands B-A-R-U-M, General. General tires were made up in Akron, Ohio, at least they, for a while. My first husband worked, uh, tried to get in there. They said his back was too bad at a, at a young age. But it was a birth thing, something he was born with. But Goodyear Tire hired him. Anyway, that's how we ended up in the South. But General and Barum brands, uh, let me start that sentence over. Note the recall includes the General and Barum brands of Continental tires. Loss of tread increases the risk of a crash. And Continental said it's certain at least 203 tires are defective from a batch of manufactured, from a batch manufactured at its plant in Illinois. Interesting. The company added it's not aware of any crashes or injuries related to the recall. Okay, so okay, it goes on. Jasper. Are you under my chair? Oh, okay. I thought, oh, I don't want to roll. See, it's rocks. Did I tell you about this chair? Okay, I got to pause and tell you this. One day, I was really wanting to, because I rock, I just like to rock myself sometimes. Maybe uh, it's a little 
anxiety thing or maybe I don't know I like being rocked as a baby I don't know but I was always wanting a rocking recliner and I knew I couldn't afford one so I said Lord if there's any way possible could you work it out where I could get a rocking recliner and I, you know, I said it like I really wanted it, but I said, I, I really didn't expect it. I said, if it's Father's will, of course, and, and of course you don't have to, but I just really would like to have one. Well, then I forgot about it. Three days later, there's one sitting in the hall. This chair was sitting out in the hall a little ways down in, in like a nook where it's out of the way. Someone's husband had died. She was moving to a smaller place. She didn't really want that small of a place. So they ended up making a deal with her and letting her stay where she's at. Anyway, long story short, she was the one who had was giving it to an other man who had just moved here. But it was too small for him. He didn't like it. It's not one of them with big fluffy arms. And it's it's not real wide. It's perfect for me. And it rocks just fine. I, I just need to put a little WD oil. And does anybody know if olive oil works as well? Well, anyway, that's the story of my miraculous chair. Oh, the chair was sitting there. The man didn't want it, so someone offered it to a, someone from Dietary. They said yes, so her name was put on this chair. But the people that work here know they're not allowed to take any donations from us. Don't know why. I've given things to housekeepers and never saw them again. I was like, wonder, boy, they took that nice item and just quit. Huh? No, they were probably fired. I mean, they were probably handed an employee handbook and didn't read it. Well, anyway, let's move on with our things. I got the chair because they said if that chair doesn't go, uh, maintenance is going to have to just put it out on the curb. And someone, while I was standing, someone told me the chair is yours. I said, really? Okay, great. Yay. Thank you, Jesus. I got me a rocking rec recliner in like six days from when I prayed. Three days it showed up, and then I waited three days for that lady to come get it, and then they said, it's got to go. It can't sit in that hall. And they didn't know someone from Dietary was trying to figure out a way to get it out of here. Well, anyway, it's mine now. And totally all on par. Um, it had to get out of the hall. So the, my friend and this neighbor that's another friend, they brought it in. How about that? And then it took my other one out. And the lady who gave me this, guess what? She ended up taking my chair. She liked it. Because they let her stay in the bigger apartment. Not Oh, isn't God great? Of course, she's... Oh, well, let's move on. Check your tires. Please check this link if you have that brand of tire. Uh, I'm going to try to finish this up quick. Re Cooper, this is Fox Business again. I agree with your privacy policy. Terms of use, stop playing. I don't know what that's about. It's probably a, I don't know, something about labor continues to recover. Oh, let's listen to it. The number of Americans filing for first time unemployment benefits unexpectedly dropped last week. Oh my, I wonder why. 730,000 Americans filed first-time jobless claims in the week ended February 20th. 
lower than the 838,000 forecast by Revenative Economists. <laughs> Stubbornly high for months. Oh, shoot, I didn't stop it, so I didn't read. Although it's well below the peak of almost 7 million that was reached when stay at home orders were first issued. Boeing 777 makes emergency landing in Moscow after engine crawl. Okay, so this is like a short news video. All right, moving on about the tires. Detroit. Cooper Tire and Rubber Company is recalling more than 430,000 light truck tires in the U.S. because they can develop sidewall bulges that could lead to tire failure. Isn't that mighty odd that we have two tire companies recalling tires at the same time? Ford recalling over 150,000 vehicles for safety issues related. Okay, that's the same one that was on the other one. The recall covers certain Discoverer, Evolution, Courser, Deegan, Adventurer, Hercules, Backcountry, Multi-Mile, Wild Country, and big O tires in several sizes. Okay, so if any of those sound familiar, you might want to go to this link and check that out. Moving on to the next one. This is the food one, and that looks pretty gross. FSN, or Food Safety News. Breaking news for everyone's consumption. By Marler Clark. Salads and wraps recalled over Listeria contamination. Is all of that Listeria? Huh. By news desk on February 26th, St. Paul, Minnesota based J&J &J Distributing. I wonder if that's for Johnson & Johnson. Or is it just J&J? &J? You know, they own a lot. Has recalled approximately 33 pounds of ready-to-eat meat and poultry salads, meat and poultry salads, and wrap products that may be adulterated with Listeria monocytogenes. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture's Food Safety and Inspection Service, FSIS. The fully cooked, not shelf-stable salads and wraps were produced and packaged on February 23rd, 2021, so not long ago, and list a sell-by date of February 28th. Isn't that today? Yes, it is. On the packaging label. The following products are subject to recall. Or recall. Subject to recall. A 9-ounce plastic container of Cobb salad. On the product label. 10-ounce plastic container of because life is delicious taste buds, bacon, lettuce, avocado, tomato wrap on the label. 10 ounce plastic container of quote, because life is delicious taste buds, turkey ranch club wrap unquote on the label. 10 ounce plastic container of because life is delicious Taste Buds Chicken Caesar Wrap, unquote, on the label. 12 ounce plastic container of, quote, Because Life is Delicious Taste Buds Southwest Style Chicken Salad, unquote, on the label. 
12 ounce plastic container of quote Southwest style chicken salad unquote on the label all right you need to click on the link if you have any of that and see if yours yours falls in um, the numbers well it says the product subject to recall bear establishment number EST period I didn't know that's what that meant establishment number 38450 inside the USDA mark of inspection these items were shipped to retail locations in Minnesota and Wisconsin there have been no confirmed reports of adverse reactions due to consumption of these products Anyone concerned about an injury or illness should contact a health care provider. I don't understand then. Why are they recalling it? All right. I'm sorry. I skipped a, a paragraph to shorten it. The contamination was discovered when the firm received confirmation from their third-party lab that a product contact surface sample returned positive for LM. Listeria, whatever I said. Anyway, I'll put the link. Um, it sounds like something you don't want to have. I've reported on something with Listeria before. Yeah, if you have anything like that, you want to check it out. All right, with that, I'll say bye for now, y'all. Have a blessed night or blessed day whenever you happen to see this. Okay, <sighs> bye for now. Talk to you later.